problem with the fintech ecosystem, but controlling your finances and controlling your security will still be a big thing now. Uh, the last one on control is the experience and um, uh, giving consumers uh, flexible uh, you know, options is great. And I want to just pin that on grocery delivery because we're having all of these apps all over the place. Uh, yet, if you don't, uh, you know, deliver on the claim, you have a very big issue. Now, the correlation between delivery and time, let's just, uh, you know, take a step back to the 80s. In the U.S., uh, Domino's Pizza were the first ones to, to say, like, we're going to deliver on um, 30, um, in 30, 30 minutes. And if we don't, uh, the, your pizza is free. Yeah. Uh, like 10, 10 years, 10 years in Egypt, I, I think McDonald's had put in the um, Asra delivery from Asra and it's, it's a USB that they want to, to, uh, you know, uh, obtain and they did. And that's fine. And that was tactical. And at the time it was, it was through, uh, delivery was through calling. Now with all these grocery apps exploding, we have grid Twitter, for example, that launched like three, four years back. And it was the first one to claim delivery in 20 minutes. Okay. Today, you have a lot of apps that would say, I have breakfast, Masalan, they would say in minutes. They don't you know, pinpoint a certain time. You have Rabbit that says 15 minutes. Now, what, what these guys don't understand is to the consumer, it doesn't really matter between 20 to 15 minutes. It doesn't really matter 45 minutes to an hour, but it matters that when you say it's an hour, then it's an hour. I want to control the experience, yeah? Especially the people are now working from home. So if you think that you want to schedule your grocery for 9 a.m. in the morning and then you have uh, calls on Zoom uh, all day, but then you, you, you're you going to cook at some point, okay? And you want to make sure that, that by that time, all the, the grocery ingredients are there. So it's about controlling the experience, not about the minutes per se, yeah? However, grocery and delivery and all of that is going to stay with us and it's going to uh, develop. Uh, today, you've got all of these uh, AI algorithms that they understand, you know, the, your, uh, your um, food style, your, your timing uh, that you're going to deliver in your budget and so forth. And they make all of these notifications. But what is expected that they will also understand your mood. Yeah. So it's starting to, to be emotionally connected to these things. I don't know how they're going to do it, but it's, you know, it's becoming very popular that they can sense your mood. Okay. So uh, this is, you know, the bigger picture on behaviors. Now let's dig in uh, on 